everyone, Bethany here. I am really excited to be back. I was out of town for the last week for my uncle's funeral and I missed my craft room. I missed my crafting and I did a lot of sketching and drawing because I was like, I have to get this out of me and this is my therapy. So um, I got a few packages while I was gone and so we are going to open them really quick. Let me switch over the camera and I will show you what I got. So I got a couple of packages from Maker Forte, and I just could not wait to open them. So here's the first one that I got. Um, it's one of the older stamps, but it was on special. It's a, a happy cake day. Hey, cupcake. I love everything cupcakes when it comes to cards. I don't know why. I just think it's so fun. And then they had this for the winter collection. They had a, um, a polar bear um, stencil with a few different inserts that you can combine um, and I thought that was really fun for winter or even a guy's um, birthday card who happens to be in the winter especially the snowflake one it's really cool and then a freebie that came as well the happy new year 2022 which I thought was really cute and also the subscription stamp and stencil bundle for the month. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. It's a tree with hearts in it. And then the stencil portion you can do the uh, clouds with. So I hope to make a tutorial with this one really soon. There was a huge sale on the new year. Um, Maker Forte had a a really awesome sale, a really awesome party actually, and learned a lot of stuff, but I got really interested in the kaleidoscope powder and this color I believe is the alien. So I have really cool ideas for this one. Um, also, I got my first ink pad, or let me get this out first. The first ink pad, so I'm gonna try it, let you guys know how it is. But this was one of my favorite looking uh, ink pads on the lives that they do. And this is the flat white. And I was I just couldn't wait for it to come into stock. So the other one is the Diamond Glaze Embossing Powder. It's really sparkly, really fun. Um, for embossing powder, this is something a little bit different that you don't really see in stores. And I like Maker Forte because it's very unique compared to stuff you would find at like... Michael's or Joann's. Um, the other thing, uh, Maker's Magic Clear Glitter. So this is going to be another little experiment for me with embellishing. And got a lot of goodies in here. Um, this is the, I forget what color this is. This is the Glow in the Dark Bittersweet. Um, it's like a neon pink, basically. This is another kaleidoscope powder. You can mix it with a lot of different things to make a lot of textures. This is the Saturn, I believe. Yep. This is the Saturn kaleidoscope powder. It's kind of bronzy with a little bit of pinkish in it. I thought that was really fun. And then we have something wrapped in paper. Should be stamps. I think. I forgot what I ordered. <laughs> I'm just so excited that it was here. All right. Yes. Okay, so this is really fun for Valentine's Day. It's a little gnome and she is knitting a blanket with heart, a heart in the middle. I just thought that was super cute for Valentine's Day for anybody who loves knitting or gnomes in general. And then this one's an older stamp set. This is a Make Your Own S'mores. And these are really fun. Um, I love this saying, sorry for being melodramatic. That sounds like something I would say. And then one of the newer ones, um, these, it's a really cool concept. It's flowers, but then it's also got a sentiment and you can turn that sentiment into the stem for the flowers. So going to make a few cards with that. And then because I love sentiments for stamping, um, this one is a sibling one, so for the soul sister, like my best friends that are not here, but I have to send cards to occasionally, or for my mother, for my sister, sisters for, are different flowers from the same garden. Um, ain't no brother better than mine. 
I hope my brother feels that way or feels that way about me too <laughs> since I'm his only sister and then this was from the <clears throat> the Christmas collection and I thought this was super cute it is a gingerbread house row it's so adorable I saw someone do something really cute with embellishments on this and I'm I just cannot wait to try it and then I got another one of these which if anyone wants that drop a I want that and maybe I will do a raffle by the end of the week and then here's another cute cute thing that came with it is this heart stencil and it would be really fun for backgrounds for Valentine's cards. So let me move some stuff out of the way and let's make something real quick. So I'm going to use the uh, background heart stencil. And the nice thing about the Maker Forte stencils, now the new thing is that there are little lines to help you line up for your A2 size cards. So if you wanna keep consistency, so if you can see it right there, there are little edges right there to line up. And I'm going to tape it down. Some very old tape, but it still works. And what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna tape down the front way so the stencer itself doesn't move while I do this. And I've picked the uh, Distress Oxide Sealess Preserves. And I am just going to kind of do a, a slight blending. I'm not looking for a deep color. I'm kind of looking for just a little bit distressed look. Because um, I'm adding a little texture here. So my blending is going to be sloppy on purpose, if that makes any sense. So fun story for you. The first time I actually ever sold any cards at a boutique, an in-person boutique, it was actually Valentine's Day cards. So Valentine's Day always has a special place in my heart just for the simple fact that the first time I ever designed cards for other people to buy were Valentine's Day cards. All right, now that I have that, I'm gonna actually make a couple of these darker and edge them up a little bit. Really make them look unpolished on purpose. And now I'm going to use the picked raspberry, Distress Oxide, and I'm going to add a little more pink to some of these. And I have a smaller brush for this. I got it off of Amazon, but I don't want super a lot. I'm kind of looking for that and once again, that distressed look. And one of the first cards I actually designed on Cricut Design Space was actually a, um, a Valentine's Day card as well. It was just for the simple fact that I didn't want to pay for an SVG that I knew I could make myself. And so <laughs> I went and figured out, all right, how do I make this myself? And... I didn't do it in Illustrator or anything like that. I just literally used Design Space and started creating and I had so much fun. And now I just create pretty much every card I ever make either in Design Space or using the stamps I find at places like Maker Forte. Most of my stamps, quite honestly, are either Maker Forte or Stamp It Up. I don't have much else. And it's just because when you like the product, and you like the designs, why go anywhere else? So, yes, this is what I'm looking for. A little bit distressed, not super perfect, but the concept is there. So I'm going to try this Clear Glitter Maker's Magic. I haven't even opened it yet, but we will see how easy it is to use. I'm just going to add a little bit of detailing to the background and then let it dry while I create the sentiment. So that was pretty easy. Let's see how well it comes down the chute. So it has a nice pinpoint. So basically I'm gonna just edge, I'm going to try to edge a few of them. I'm not gonna get all of them. Just to add a little glitz, 
little texture here and there. I'm going to keep in the swooping lines. And actually, the bottom part will have a something else on it. So don't need to really do those. So pretty easy to use straight out of the bottle. Freshly opened. And you know, if you've seen some of my videos, I love Wink Estella. So this is like Wink Estella, but with a, a detailing edge. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm going to let that dry. And then while I dry that, we are going to make our sentiment. So just using a spare piece of white paper that I have lying around, I am just going to grab from this Make Your Own S'mores um, stamp pack. I think it's the official uh, name of it is S'mores Sentiments, which I, I can't wait to make my own s'more faces. Those are so cute. But today we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to use the You Are the Sweetest because this is a Valentine's Day card for a friend. I'm going to use the See This Preserves Distressed Oxide. Since I'm going to emboss it, I want to make sure that the color is down really well because the embossing powder we're going to try to use may show through on purpose. I did my one major faux pas that I always seem to do when I'm embossing, which is I forget to use the embossing powder. So we're going to do a little cheater way. I have my made it at home embossing powder uh, little pad here, and I'm going to just take a brush and I'm going to brush it around the sentiment because I'm not trying to smudge the sentiment but I'm trying to not have embossing powder stick to that so hopefully it does work that way if not that's okay I will figure out a way to still save it so now we are going to use the Maker Forte um, this one is called the Diamond Glitz. And a lot of it came out when I took the top off. The one thing I will note, anytime you have a Maker Forte um, powder, just make sure that you are standing over something that will catch it because it most likely will drop down at you. So then you can see that the sentiment color is still showing through. This is like almost a holographic addition for embossing powder and it's super fine which I really love because then it's not you're not worrying about chunks if you do miss using your embossing powder or sorry your uh, your anti-static powder all right now that I have that gathered I'm gonna just dump it back in and then I'm going to let this set for a second before I actually emboss it. All right, so I'm going to take my heat embossing gun and we're going to put it on the low setting because I have not used Maker Forte's embossing powders yet. I don't know how they're going to respond to my heat gun. So always use the lowest setting possible when you're using a newer uh, brand. And this seems to set pretty fast. I'm going to use my good old Cricut cutter that is more than half of my life old. I think I got this when I was 16 years old, so that's 20 years ago. It's a very old to me machine. <laughs> but I am very much a use what you have or use what you already have. There's no need to go out and get something new. And actually, now that I'm seeing this, I want to add this little heart here because it's just stinking cute. So I'm just going to throw this on my little block here. And we're going to use the picked raspberry. I like to tilt my hearts just a little bit. Perfect. So I'm going to take this scrap paper from the Dollar Tree scrap pack that I got and I'm going to just cut it down 
And this isn't exactly a straight edge, so I'm just going to look at the straightest edge and cut it down just enough. And it is not a flat paper, it is a textured paper, so you can see how it frayed a little bit when I just cut it. So when you have textured paper, always make sure that your blade is as close to the other blade as possible when cutting. All right, and I'm going to just leave a little space in the middle. Now, when you have a textured background, you wanna make sure that you're using a liquid glue that usually works best with something like this. So I'm just gonna be generous because it has gaps to fill. A tape runner will get it, but it will probably loosen over time pretty quickly. I've used like the heaviest duty tape runners and it will still come up with textured paper. All right, just a little off center. All right, and then I'm gonna add my sentiment with some Dollar Tree um, foam tape. Just to pop it up a little bit more, give it that dimension. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the final product. Um, and this was mostly with the Maker Forte project um, that I got. Uh, I have a lot more to experiment and play with in the upcoming weeks, and I'm really excited to get started. But I wanted to apologize for the audio. We had a few issues I didn't know that were happening, and <laughs> I can't go back and fix it with the equipment that I have because I have to go get new equipment. So um, if you want any of the Maker Forte products, I know a lot of them are still on sale. I will put a link below um, and then I hope to get a few more tutorials up as soon as possible. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and have a beautiful day. Thanks! Thank you.